Savage Stone Age. Two types of early man, Homo sapiens and Neanderthal, were very different, especially when it came to hunting. Right, good morning. Good morning. Could we settle down, please? Tell you what, I've had some primitive characters around this table over the years. You lot, take the flaming biscuit. Two words for you, beard trimmers. Boardroom presentation is 50% of the battle. New lot look like you've been dragged through a hedge backwards. Actually, sugar, me have by mega beer. It's Lord Sugar to you, but thank you, that explains it. Now, in business, you need that killer instinct. So your task was to go out hunting. Team Neanderthal, who was your project manager? Uh, Grant was project manager. And was he any good? What do you think? Hmm. Him dead. <laughs> <laughs> what a mess, honestly. Did you Neanderthals even have a hunting strategy? No, tell him your strategy. Not my strategy, all Neanderthal strategy. Oh, yeah, spread the blame, why don't oh, you? Look, I don't care who came up with the blooming strategy. Can you just tell me what it is, please? First, we hide. Yeah. Then we jump out, surprise prey, and attack with spear. Yeah. Except Nog make noise. Nog one mega bear. No. Ugg make noise. No, Nog make noise. Make Nog noise. make noise. Ah! In short, the Neanderthals were cut to pieces and the Mega Bear walked away with just a couple of scratches. Taking on prey head on is clearly a very high risk strategy. At least the Homo sapien team here don't look like they've gone ten rounds with a Mega Bear. What was your hunting strategy? Run after prey, then throw spear. Kill from distance, no need get near prey. Karen? That's right, Lord Sugar. The Homo sapiens are good runners, and they've developed a throwing javelin, which means they don't need to get dangerously near their prey. Right, OK. Nick, let's find out how the teams did, then. Well, Team Neanderthal did manage one kill. True. <laughs> True. True. Are you taking the mick? Are you telling me that three of you went out there, only two of you came back alive, and all you brought back with you was that shrew? Yeah, put it like that. It's not very good, is it? No, it's not. How did the Homo sapiens do? Well, they killed two wild pigs, three deer, and a sort of badger thing with big teeth. But no shrew. <laughs> oh, shrew. shrew. Just shrew. All right, I've shrew. had it up to here with the flaming shrew, right? Clearly we've got a winner here. Team Neanderthals, it's not all about brawn. Sometimes it's about your bonts, and your brains are clearly the size of a pea. Uh, well, in point of fact, Lord Sugar, the Neanderthal brain is actually larger than the Homo sapien brain. You're joking, no? Well, why don't you use it? If you're not careful, your entire race is going to die out. For that reason, Team Neanderthal... ...the fire. Well, all of us. Yeah. Why don't you just fire Grunt? Him dead anyway. He's still more flaming used to me than you two are. <sighs> Get out of my sight. Go on. Team Homo Sapien, I've got a treat lined up for you. Have you ever been behind the wheel of a Formula One racing car? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, what is wheel? Never mind. We'll go, yeah? No, I'd love to. Yeah. Karen, do you drive? I do. You in? I am. I'm in then. 